Okay, I think uh, we can start. So hello everyone and welcome to our online presentation of the University of Ljubljana. My name is Liana and together with my colleagues, we will present to you today the possibilities of studying at our university, the application and admission procedure, and some of our members will also present themselves to you today. Uh, during the presentation, uh, you can ask questions in the chat related to study enrollment, which will be uh, answered by our admission office, as well as uh, other colleagues. And of course, as we have already said, you will also have the opportunity to ask some more specific questions related to the faculty or academy you want to enroll in, in the breakout rooms after the presentations. So after the presentations, we will stay, uh, me and my uh, colleague Christian, we will stay in the main room for some general questions. So our schedule for today is, as you already had the opportunity to see during the registration, is the following. So we will start with the general presentation of the University of Ljubljana, where our international student Christian Popovsky will also introduce himself to us and uh, tell about his experience as an international student. Um, after that, we will uh, explain enrollment and admission procedure and continue with the presentations of our members. After each member's presentation, uh, you will have the option to join the breakout room of the faculty or academy. So on presentation, you can find detailed explanation on how to join our breakout rooms. Uh, you can, of course, join as much breakout rooms as you want. And if you have any problem, you can always click to on Ask for Help uh, and we will assist you. So the name of the breakout room will be the name of the faculty of, or academy, of course. So uh, there are currently no breakout rooms open, but they will be opened one by one after each member's presentation. So we hope that uh, everything about these technical details is, is clear and that we can start with our presentation. So uh, Slovenia is a relatively small and young country. It is a very safe country and a country that is at the intersection of various cultures, languages, and heritage. It occupies an exceptional position at the meeting points of the Alps and Mediterranean. So uh, country diversity and size allows us to hike in the mountains and swim in the sea in one day. Uh, during your studies, take time to discover this beautiful green country that has so much to offer. And because of all of that possibilities it offers, uh, you will certainly not be bored. Our university is located in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, which is a very pleasant and beautiful city to live in. Our university was founded in 1919, and today it has 23 faculties and three art academies covering all fields of study. This central building that you can see on the screen, uh, all three academies and some faculties are located in the very city center. Some of the most recent and modern buildings were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana and Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport is located in Portoroz by the sea. Three art academies offer degree programs in the fields of music, fine arts, design, theater, radio, film and television. The field of natural science, technology, and engineering comprises 10 faculties offering unique programs that prepare students for careers in these high growth areas. Students can also study in one of eight faculties in the fields of humanities, social sciences that encourage open and critical thinking. And we also welcome prospective students who are interested in medicine, health science, and sport. Each year, around 40,000 students increase and develop their knowledge and skills at our institution, including 9% of international students from more than 100 countries. We are also very proud to have been ranked among the top 9% of the world of universities in the cat category of ratio between offered high-quality education and affordability to international students. Around three quarters of all international students come from the Western Balkan region, mainly, as you can see, from North Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Croatia, and Montenegro. One of the universities of Ljubljana's strategic orientation is definitely cooperation with the Western Balkan region. And through research, teaching, and study activities, we also strive to connect and maintain contact with Slovenians living abroad. As our students, you will, ha you will have many possibilities for practical work, exchange, and internship. You're also welcome to attend summer school courses, concerts, and exhibitions, and performances organized by our academies and faculties. 
you will also have a very good access to library resources and services uh, with various support activities and we will provide you support and integrating into your studies and life in Slovenia. We have accredited more than 400 degree programs and more than 800 subjects in English. The University of Ljubljana has more than 30% of all registered uh, researchers in Slovenia. A special concern of the University of Ljubljana is definitely the transfer of knowledge to the economy, which is why we work closely with uh, many uh, Slovenian and foreign companies. As our students, you will have the opportunity to participate in various projects and activities. In cooperation with foreign universities, we conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies, and we also encourage uh, international exchanges of students and staff. The University of Ljubljana is also part of Association Utopia, which includes nine other universities from Europe. Utopia aims also to promote the mobility of students and staff through uh, new ways of joint teaching and learning and cross-border cooperation. We warmly recommend you to regularly check our website Study Ula, where you can find many useful information about study, exchange opportunities, extracurricular and other activities, and also carefully, carefully read the welcome guide where you can find the gathered detailed information about your arrival to Slovenia and studying at our university. You can, you're also welcome to join us at the Virtual Fair of Education na Kojča and visit our virtual booths where all the University of Ljubljana members are represented. We also invite you to join us at the online presentations that we organize on March 1st together with uh, admission office. Uh, that will be the Q&A session where all undergraduate students will be able to get answers to questions about the admission process. We also invite you to the presentation of the opportunities for enrolling in master and doctoral studies on April 10th, starting at 2 p.m. So for more information about these events, please, and also registration links, uh, please, uh, you can find on this uh, web page, on our web page information days. So before coming to study in Slovenia or abroad in general, it is very important to get first-hand information about what it's like to be an international student. That is why we are very proud to present our video series with international students about, which aims to present studying in Slovenia and at the University of Ljubljana. In this series, our international student ambassadors will answer various questions, including why they decided to study in Slovenia and at the University of Ljubljana, uh, what it's like to study here, uh, have they encountered any challenges, what are the advantages of studying, and much, much more. So check that on our YouTube channel. Uh, also, I want to present you our chat with international students, where you will be able to find contacts of 15 international student ambassadors who came from different uh, countries and studied different uh, faculties and academies of the University of Ljubljana. So you can contact them and ask anything uh, you like and um, in, are you, you, you interested in uh, regarding studies in Slovenia and Ljubljana. Um, so... Uh, with us today is uh, one of our international students. This is uh, Christian Popovsky, who will uh, briefly present his experience studying at our university. So, uh, Christian, here we go. Uh, thank you, Liliana, for introducing me to the fellow students. Hi, everybody. I'm Christian, uh, and I have a lot of things that I would like to share with you and talk talk about with you. So maybe I'd start firstly with the decision why I decided to study at the University of Ljubljana. Um, I'd say that I always wanted more. I knew that I would like to study abroad. I knew that I would like to accomplish a lot of things, uh, but I didn't know where and how. And I saw potential for learning and growth here in the, at the University of Ljubljana, and I also wanted a challenge. And after some time of researching, um, I decided um, to come to the University of Ljubljana, where I can do exactly that, follow uh, the challenge um, and come into an environment where I'm responsible for uh, fulfilling my full potential. And after a few, few two and a half years here, I'm happy to say uh, that um, for me, it was the right uh, decision. 
I started planning on uh, coming to the university a lot sooner, uh, all, all, all already in uh, high school. I joined some education fairs as well as asked a lot of students about how is it in Slovenia, um, how is it in Ljubljana, what are uh, disinformation days. And I re read online and uh, check a lot of uh, YouTube videos and gathered a lot of information. And after that, I made my decision. But I, al I always had questions um, before coming here. How is it to live? How, to, how is it to be a student and also live and study abroad? Uh, and at the beginning, the integrating uh, life between studies and life, I uh, think in, uh, integration uh, was a bit hard for me because at the beginning I needed to find a balance between my studies and also uh, living uh, abroad. Uh, and um, after some time, uh, it, everything worked out. I found what worked best for me. But um, I see, I, after some time, I saw, and I can share why I like my studies a lot. Uh, that's because I had um, at our School of Economics and Business, we have uh, a lot of guest lectures. Also, we have a great uh, facility where we have um, all of our lectures and classes, and we have a lot of practical exams, uh, pra practical examples, as well as research seminar papers, where we can uh, connect the practice and the real world examples with uh, the theory we are studying. So this is what I like mostly about my studies, as well as uh, for me, I'm a person that uh, likes a lot of extracurricular activities, as well as uh, I would like to develop my career even while I'm studying. And uh, I can surely assure you and say that um, in Ljubljana, especially, there are a lot of, a lot of, a lot is happening and there is something for everyone and anyone. So um, it starts from sports to educational workshop, but as well as uh, cultural events. And uh, for those that want to party, there is also parties and all night hackathons and activities. So there's basically everything for uh, something for everyone. Uh, I also had questions about the language. Um, how is it to be an international student learning in Slovenian? Um, I have to say that I studied the language before coming in Slovenia, but still at the beginning it was quite hard for me uh, because I come from another environment when, where the language was different. But I remember telling my friends um, that were Slovene, uh, don't, don't you speak to me in English, but please speak to me uh, only in Slovenian so that I can learn the language. And after a few months, uh, those, uh, an those anxious feelings or um, insecurity about the language just uh, vanished because I learned the language and it wasn't a problem anymore. Uh, about other challenges, um, with the language, there is a program called Year Plus. Uh, I I'm sure that you've heard or you will hear about it a lot because there I met a lot of friends as well as international friends and you learn the language and the culture, which just makes it really easier uh, to integrate and uh, uh, find new people and friends. So um, it's just a matter of time. Maybe the first semester uh, would be a bit more complicated and challenging, but after the first semester, everything gets easier and easier. And uh, another question uh, was about the accommodation, how to find the accommodation, uh, uh, how to find a secure place. Uh, I would just say uh, that it's really good to start uh, earlier for me. I started searching uh, for accommodation in June, July, and I found uh, what I wanted. Um, and also it is important uh, to know your needs uh, as well as I knew mine uh, to know, um, to get to know your roommates as well as your landlord because uh, you're going to live with uh, those people uh, for some time. And it's it was for me a big decision uh, to go to live with other people. And um, maybe um, just to say something about the admissions because for me that was also <laughs> interesting uh, when I was uh, thinking about studying in, in abroad and also in Slovenia. Uh, at first, um, I reached out to some people to some friends that I already uh, that were already here and knew the process, and they helped me um, go through the application form together and fill it out. 
But for those students that don't have, uh, let's say, someone that is in Slovenia, I recommend um, going to some student communities. There are a lot of uh, student minorities here and you can uh, just get in touch with them or uh, you can always write an email to us, the International Students Ambassador, and we can go online on Viber, Zoom, whatever, and we can go through the process alone or we can write you an email how to do it by yourself. So... Uh, you don't have to worry. I know that you have a lot of questions, but uh, I'm sure that uh, you'll be fine and that, um, that you have a lot of help. Uh, so uh, everything would be would turn out great. Um, and I wish you best of luck. If you have any questions, uh, we are here to answer everything uh, you would uh, have and um, at the end of the presentation. So thank you. Thank you, Christian, for this wonderful presentation. Uh, and I, now I will follow up your story about the application process and explain to all of you how this process looks like. Uh, so when it comes to application, you must submit an online application in English or Slovenian with your username and passport, password. Sorry, uh, It is very important that you save this information, uh, username and password, as it will allow you to access the Evosha web portal and follow up on the application and admission process. On the Evosha website, you can find more detailed information as well as video tutorials that will guide you step by step through filling out the application form. And I also invite you to watch our new uh, video on our YouTube channel about the university application process. Uh, there you will find many more useful information such as enrollment requirements, application deadlines and more. Also, call for enrollment is published on this website as well as our website. So there you can check everything you want to know about studying at our university, like study programs, enrollment slots, as well as uh, application period. Uh, so uh, when it comes to application period, be aware of this different deadlines. You can apply during several application periods. So the deadlines depend on your citizenship. So if you're a citizen of an EU member state or a Slovenian without Slovenian citizenship, you can apply in the first application period from 20th of February to 20th of March. And in the second application period from 21st to 27th of August. So here you can see who can apply in this second application period. Also candidates from EU member states and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship can also apply in the application period for still available enrollment slots that will be uh, open from uh, 25th uh, and 26th of September until 10 a.m. Uh, citizens from non-EU country uh, can apply also from uh, 20th of February to 19th of April in the first application period and on 3rd and 4th of September in the second application period. On the screen, you also can see which uh, candidates can apply in the second application period. It is also important to mention that citizens from EU countries and citizens with uh, which Slovenia uh, from countries that with which Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreements do not have to pay tuition fees for full-time bachelor and master studies. So Slovenia has concluded uh, bilateral agreements with Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Serbia, and Kosovo. So you can find more information about fees on our web page. In the first application period, you may indicate a maximum of three bachelor's or single cycle master degree programs in order of preference for, we, uh, for uh, which you wish to enroll. In uh, the order in which the degree programs are indicated is very important because in the selection process, you will be admitted uh, to the first degree program for which you may meet all the requirements and achieve the min minimum number of points in the case of limited enrollment. Um, uh, as I said, uh, we have accredited uh, more than 400 degree programs uh, and more than 800 subjects in English. Uh, the majority of courses are conducted in Slovenian, but we also have some programs in English. So as you can see, uh, lectures in English are held at the School of Economics and Business. Recognition of education is also required for applicants with a foreign education certificate who wish to continue their studies in Slovenia. The online application is also an application for this procedure of recognition of foreign secondary education. So all documents must be uploaded on this web portal Evosha as electronic copies or scans of the originals. Those documents uh, have to be attached through the Evosha web portal scans. Uh, 
or uh, photographies or of the original certificates and other documents, as I said. Uh, it is also important to know that the certificate of graduation diploma is not required at the time of application, uh, but you should submit it as soon as you graduate. So you should apply as soon as possible. And if you haven't finished high school yet, you uh, should send your diploma by uh, first until 1st August. Also, candidates send uh, translations only on the request received on the web portal Evershu, and you will receive all notifications electronically uh, through this portal. So, uh, as I said, it is very important to uh, check this email regularly. Uh, so, let's see what documents you need to upload to the Evershu portal. So, scan of final certificates, graduation diploma, and certificates of the last two years of high school. Again, if you have not yet finished school, uh, send this certificate uh, of the last year of high school and the diploma by August 1st. Uh, E-copy or scan of a certificate's translation of the final certificates into Slovene or English um, uh, language. Uh, if a certification translation of the certificate is required, the uh, applicant will be asked for it um, on the uh, web portal Evershu. So you also must to upload, uh, upload a short chronological description of the entire education uh, relevant to the uh, enrollment application and uh, recognition procedure of foreign education prepared by, uh, by yourself, uh, stating prior uh, education, including uh, the school attended, uh, dates of attendance, possible transfers, uh, and uh, so on. So on our website, you can find example of it. Um, so you also need to upload your ID or passport. If you're from a non-EU country, you can only uh, upload a scan of passport. And of course, if you need uh, any additional uh, evidence, the enrollment service, service sorry, of the University of Ljubljana will inform you about it. Uh, for citizens of the EU member states and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship, uh, the first application period for sending documents is uh, so for applicants completing secondary school this year, you need to send it by August 1st, as I said, and those who already finished high school, uh, you need to send it by the end of the first application period, so 20th of March. Uh, if you apply in the second application period, then you need to send your uh, documentation by 27th of August. And if you apply in the period for still available enrollment slots, then to the 26th of September. When it comes to non-EU students, uh, the same conditions apply. So uh, for the applicants completing secondary school this year by 1st August 2024, and those who already finished high school by the end of the first application period, for you, this is uh, 19th of April. If you apply in the second application period, then you need to send your documentation by uh, 4th of September. When it comes to Slovenian language certification certificate for all candidates, it must be sent until August of 1st. About decision on recognition, you will be informed also on the Evershe web portal. If the degree program has a limited enrollment, candidates will be selected based on the criteria published in the call of enrollment. So your grades need to be converted into the Slovenian grading system and grading scales are published at our website as well as the call for enrollment. If your program requires knowledge of the Slovenian language at the B2 level, as already mentioned, a certificate of language knowledge must be sent by the August 1st. What is important, that certificates from Slovenia are recognized, but also from abroad, so that you can pass and get the certificate in your country without any problem. Here you can see which programs on bachelor level require uh, this uh, language certificate. And also for enrolling in some programs, it is required to pass tests of ability, capacity and skills. And here you can see which faculties and academies uh, it is necessary. Uh, so please, for additional uh, information about courses and content of the test, please ask the faculties or academies. Uh, dates are also published on the Evershow web portal as well as our web page. If you're accepted, you will be invited to enroll by uh, the faculty or academy via email, and enrollment usually takes place in September. 
uh, and decision on results in the first application period for EU students and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship will be by 21st of July and at the latest by 20th of September. For non-EU students, it will be by uh, 31st of August. Uh, we recommend that you check our website well before the uh, application deadline and check uh, all the information on the offer degree programs, the application procedure and enrollment requirements, also the number of available enrollment slots, uh, fees and more. Also, to help with your application, uh, our uh, services organize online counseling about the application and admission procedure for undergraduate studies. So you can contact us by email or phone at any time. Uh, our admission office have also info points. So if you have any uh, question, you can, you can visit us or call us. Uh, and it is also very important to mention that you do not need any service of uh, recruitment agencies and agents for application. So uh, if you need any advice or help, you can contact us or arrange an online consultation. And um, as I previously said, we will do our best to provide you with all the information and answers to uh, any questions you may have. So now uh, we have come to the part uh, where our members will be introduced to us. Uh, once again, uh, this is today's schedule of presentations. And again, as I said uh, at the beginning, after each presentation, uh, a breakout room will open with the name of the faculty or academy who presented. And uh, if you're interested in something more about that member, you can enter and uh, find out, ask whatever interests you. Uh, on presentation, uh, you can again find detailed explanation on how to join our breakout rooms. Uh, you can, of course, uh, join as much breakout rooms as you want. And of course, if you have any problem, you can always click on ask for help and we will assist you. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for your attention. And, uh, now uh, I'd like to ask uh, faculty of sport to uh, share their presentation with us. Uh, faculty of sport offer degree programs such as kinesiology, physical education, and sports training, as well as master program uh, mass management in sport. And with us today is uh, Professor Dr. Vedran Hadzic. So uh, please, uh, can you share your screen? Mm -hmm. Just a second. Hello from our side. Uh, okay. Do we have a picture? You see everything? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings from the Faculty of Sport in Ljubljana. I'm Vedran Hadzic. I will present the opportunities to study at the Faculty of Sport uh, in Ljubljana. Uh, first, we will make uh, a short introduction and uh, explain you some history of the Faculty of Sport. Um, these are the very old pictures back in uh, 1954. Uh, this is the playground where the uh, Faculty of Sport was uh, built and we are the oldest Faculty of Sport Sciences uh, in Slovenia with 70 years of uh, tradition and experience and um, major uh, important thing about the Faculty is basically our uh, pedagogical staff because uh, we are very uh, connected with Slovenian school system. Uh, as I will show later on, uh, for, the, for those of you who are interested in physical education uh, study. Also, we have uh, great connections with the Slovenian Olympic Committee and all uh, sport disciplines in Slovenia. So uh, this is really a place where sport is at home and um, where a lot of knowledge is uh, situated on uh, in one uh, institution. So uh, the faculty is situated uh, near the town center. Uh, as you can see, we're in a great park. Uh, this is the main entrance to the faculty. Uh, this is the area where we have swimming pools. And of course, we coordinate uh, very well with other sports organizations surrounding our facilities, uh, football playground, football pitch, uh, tennis 
tennis pitch and also uh, the Olympic uh, swimming pool uh, just in close uh, proximity. Uh, this is also a big sport hall where uh, some part of pedagogical process also take place. So uh, it is a really a good environment in which uh, faculty is basically uh, situated. Uh, this is our main um, um, advantage. That's our students because uh, we are very grateful to have such uh, great uh, students. Uh, the feeling from the moment you enter the faculty throughout the whole uh, education process at the faculty is very relaxed. And I think I can say that among all other in, in, uh, faculties, this connection between the students and professors and the pedagogical staff is really uh, quite okay. And uh, uh, everyone is smiling. Uh, also, the important thing is that we have uh, good facilities. If you take a look, we have some of the best uh, sports halls in uh, Slovenia. So when you are studying for the sports training, physical education or kinesiology, uh, you have good equipment, uh, basic equipment. The faculty also has two swimming pools, the big one, the one you see here on the screen, and also the uh, small one, 15 meter pool, uh, which is intended for uh, some specific uh, populations uh, attending the uh, faculty. So that's very important for, I don't know, the study of kinesiology, uh, when we have uh, people with disabilities, uh, we also have possibilities to uh, do um, aquatic exercises, exercises in the water, in that smaller swimming pool. Uh, so basically, we are really uh, fully equipped. And as you can see, the majority of the study that takes place within the faculty is um, taking place in a very good sports halls. Uh, we also have a new fitness center uh, at the faculty, which is um, in certain periods of day free of charge for all our students. Uh, so you can use it for uh, to exercise yourself, to prepare for other um, uh, events, etc. Um, also, if you see some uh, advantages, some equipment, the swimming pools, uh, this is a, a view from uh, below. So you can go uh, below the surface and see uh, the technique and try to correct it. Also, all gyms are equipped with video equipment. So when you do some exercise, it is um, uh, actually recorded in the real time so you can go with assistance and uh, take a, uh, take some uh, notes and see what you did wrong. So I think that really the possibilities for study are uh, really great and we are really grateful that, to have an uh, opportunity to work in such a good uh, place. If you go uh, to the YouTube and uh, the uh, sound, uh, if you go to the uh, YouTube and enter the Faculty of Sport, uh, you will see this uh, presentation video. It takes about five minutes. Um, I will not spend much time showing you this video because you can do it yourself. I really advise you to do so. So everything that I'm saying uh, to you here at this presentation, uh, you can see it uh, slightly in more details. So uh, please do so, go there. Uh, we are also active on the uh, different social medias, so you can uh, find information about uh, the way these uh, studies take place at uh, the faculty. So really, my advice is go to YouTube, uh, check these out, uh, and you will also see that um, the study at the faculty is not only inside, uh, but there are a lot of uh, things that we are actually uh, doing in the nature. Um, uh, so uh, alpine skiing, Nordic skiing, uh, uh, there is a lot of great activities taking place uh, outside of the faculty. So most of the students will enjoy it and have the opportunity to uh, do some active uh, study period uh, during study at the faculty of sport. So what are the uh, programs that we are offering? As it was uh, said in the introduction, at the bachelor degree, uh, we have uh, three programs, basically physical education, sports training, and uh, kinesiology. 
So if we uh, uh, go to the second degree, you will have the possibility to study physical education and kinesiology. But there is also a possibility that if you enter the sports training and you finish the bachelor degree, you do some uh, differentials and enter the either kinesiology or physical education, depending on uh, your interest at that uh, point. And for the study of kinesiology, we have a third degree, doctoral degree, uh, which is not um, think of the interest at this point, but I will show you what are the um, what is the area of uh, this doctoral uh, degree as well. So uh, what are students are basically trained for? So if you are uh, interested in physical education, uh, you will work with children and adolescents and we will teach you everything about physical literacy. Uh, so uh, we will show you how to uh, develop uh, physical literacy in children, uh, how to develop different motorical abilities from very early stages of life uh, until the entrance to the uh, high school and also finishing the high school. So you will be studying for the physical education uh, teachers uh, because this is very important uh, thing uh, that you will have all didactical uh, knowledge necessary uh, to learn children how uh, to become active uh, to teach children how to um, uh, sustain that physical uh, activity level and most importantly how to develop certain motorical abilities uh, that will be important for their performance and their health uh, throughout uh, the lifespan. So this is the study of physical education. Um, I think that uh, Slovenia is uh, unicum in uh, Europe, and I can also say in the world, considering the uh, physical education studies, because we have a very developed uh, system that takes you students from uh, the first degree to the second degree and gives you all necessary knowledge. And the Slovenian model is taught as one of the best models of physical education studies in the uh, world. Uh, so this is really a great opportunity to study from the best. So one of the very important things is uh, that we have uh, a monitoring of children physical ability throughout the educational period from primary to uh, secondary school to uh, high school. And uh, this is called slow fit. And uh, if you go to their web page, uh, they are part of uh, our faculty that is a great research team um, and those who are in charge of physical education uh, studies at our faculty are also in charge of these uh, great research projects. They were awarded the best project in Europe uh, for uh, lifetime monitoring of physical activity. It was two years ago by the European Council. So uh, you will have actually a great possibility to combine uh, knowledge, uh, research and the practical application uh, in that field. Um, so the main area of work are children and adolescents. You will have the possibility to work uh, in um, different sports societies, but mainly in schools during the physical education uh, studies. If we enter the sports training uh, study, uh, all that you see on these uh, pictures are basically our students. So uh, at one point or the another, uh, each one of them was a student at the faculty of uh, sport, contributing uh, their uh, knowledge to the great success of um, uh, Slovenian athletes. Uh, if I go slightly back uh, to what we were discussing uh, before on this slide, uh, in the area of sports training, you will work with top level athletes. So basically, you will get a part of adolescent population, uh, very few children and also adult uh, top level athletes, and uh, you will uh, learn how to help them uh, perform and uh, learn how to uh, create a great Olympic results uh, with them. Uh, so that's the main uh, feature of our uh, sports training uh, study. Um, 
you will have possibility to cooperate with some great Slovenian uh, athletes and to explore all knowledge that has been accumulated through 70 years of practice. If you see Slovenian sport, I don't know how much do you follow um, sport. Uh, Slovenian sport is the, one of the best products of Slovenian society. And uh, Slovenian coaches who studied at the Faculty of Sports were and are still involved in creation of these uh, great results. So if you have interest in top level sports, uh, and if you're interested in coaching, uh, I think that sports training study at the Faculty of Sport is right place for you. Uh, of course, you will need to have some sports background. So it means that you should be training uh, some sports of interest, I don't know, basketball or um, uh, Nordic skiing or whatever, alpine skiing, before you enter um, the study. So um, to comply with these demands, you will have to uh, provide us with some sport anamnesis prior to entrance to these uh, sports. Uh, then uh, during the course of the study, uh, you will choose your what we call sports A, which is the main sport of your interest. And the majority of the pedagogical hours within your education will be dedicated to that specific sport, I don't know, uh, football or whatever. We have a very wide list of sports that we can provide support for. Um, it, it's almost like all Olympic uh, winter and uh, summer Olympic sports are involved in this uh, segment. So um, that is really a good opportunity. So uh, you can uh, pay attention and uh, see what is of interest in the area of uh, sports training. So if we continue uh, with sports training, uh, these are really our prides. And uh, we also had our students uh, having gold Olympic medals in uh, ski jumps. Um, that was a really great uh, feeling. Uh, you know that when you look back, Slovenia really codes um, very high on this list when you see medal counts per million population. Uh, so very few countries are better than uh, Slovenia. And um, at the Faculty of Sport, we are delighted, uh, particularly delighted uh, to that we have been able to be a part of such a great success story of Slovenian uh, sport. Um, also, at the Faculty of Sport, there is an Institute of Sport, uh, which um, cooperates on a daily basis with the Slovenian Olympic Committee. And uh, all athletes from different sport disciplines are uh, tested on a daily basis at the Faculty of Sport. And what we intend to do is to um, uh, provide all our students possibility to work uh, during the course of the study, uh, to work in our laboratories. We have seven different laboratories uh, from physiological sports medicine laboratory, kinesiological laboratory, biomechanical laboratory, and um, you uh, get some basic knowledge about uh, how to objectively monitor the uh, uh, the athletes, how to monitor load, how to adjust load uh, with athletes. And um, uh, uh, through the course of the study, you get, uh, you become a professional in the area of sports training for some specific sport discipline that you were, uh, that you have uh, chosen uh, yourself. So the youngest program of the faculty of sport is basically kinesiology so kinesiology has somehow learned from both of these uh, programs from physical education and from sports training so uh, we would be stupid not to do so because uh, there was so much knowledge and uh, our idea was to uh, use that knowledge for slightly different causes. And uh, if we said that in the area of uh, physical education, we were uh, working with children and adolescents about the physical literacy, and in the sports training, we were working with top level athletes to achieve performance and results. 
Um, in the kinesiology study, we have uh, turned our, uh, we have shifted our interest to general population, basically adults, older adults, specific population, working population, uh, uh, some specificities, uh, people with disabilities, um, specifics for women in sport, etc. And our main goal is to use sport, to use sports training to improve and maintain the health of the individual. So that's a very good uh, um, starting point, basically. And uh, the idea was really to uh, start uh, with uh, this area of how to work with healthy adult population. So to uh, somehow give them uh, information how important physical education is, how important it is to be physically active on a daily basis, and uh, to work in the field of the primary prevention. Uh, at current moment, uh, kinesiology is registered as a health-related um, uh, activity uh, by the Ministry of Health. So once you finish the bachelor degree or master degree, uh, you have the possibility to work in uh, public Slovenian health system and to provide these services to uh, general uh, population. Uh, this is organized in what we call centers for health promotion. Uh, they are uh, there are currently 47 such centers across the uh, Slovenia, uh, and you have the ability to work there uh, as a health professional, basically, in that section. Uh, there is an additional uh, request for that, so you have to do a professional exam after finishing the uh, this period of work. And uh, then you can work as a, a health professional in these institutions. Apart from that, uh, you can have private uh, organized uh, kinesiological practice, which means that you work with this population. Uh, it's not supported by uh, governmental uh, resources, uh, but it's uh, really different programs. Um, I'll just give you several examples. Uh, so they work in the field of... Um, health promotion on the workplace. So for all those uh, professions where you are sitting uh, long for a prolonged period of time, um, uh, you, it is very useful for those uh, employees uh, to have some active breaks, uh, to do some exercises, to break these long periods of sedentary uh, behavior with some activities. Uh, and this is what uh, some of our students do. So the next level where, where you can work is uh, with a population which already has some uh, chronic, stable chronic conditions. So you can have exercises and uh, take uh, practical sessions with um, uh, people with cardiovascular diseases or uh, oncological diagnosis, etc. You can also be a support for top-level athletes. This is our kinesiologist, uh, Anja Sheshum, uh, and this is our top-level alpine skier, uh, and um, she's a member uh, of her team, uh, Ilka Stuhetz, uh, and um, uh, she's trying to provide him uh, with some support considering the sports training, but also the kinesiologist is there to help athletes return to the uh, pre-injury level in the cases when athletes were injured. Um, so you get a lot of, let's say, medical knowledge, additional medical uh, knowledge. That's especially at the master degree study, if you continue this development from a bachelor to master degree. But at the bachelor degree, you will learn really a lot about um, healthy adult population in the field of the uh, primary uh, prevention. Then there is a lot of students doing a practical uh, obligations uh, during the course of uh, the study uh, in the centers for older adults, for the seniors. Uh, we also have like 50 centers across Slovenia. 
uh, where you provide uh, daily activities, physical activities for older adults. Uh, we know that it is um, of crucial importance to maintain uh, their physical activity because it's related to their independence, it's related to their uh, mobility, ability to work, uh, live independently uh, from the others and also in the context of, of what we are talking about is sarcopenia that is a loss of muscle mass. It's very important to um, uh, be physically active on a daily basis. Uh, and kinesiologist, uh, through the course of the study, you are taught how to do that, uh, how, uh, which uh, approaches are the best. Uh, and uh, what is really important for all three programs at the Faculty of Sport is that we are trying to be as evidence-based as possible because um, approach at all these levels is a scientific one. So you will also have the ability to work with um, uh, our research groups. We have two research groups at the faculty. Uh, as a student, you can join different uh, projects. Um, uh, we help you get an idea for your master thesis at the end or uh, diploma. So um, uh, it's not only the professional part, it's also the research part that you are involved with uh, during the study. And as a student, uh, there are two organizations within the Faculty of Sport, student organizations that will help you go through these uh, programs. Uh, one is more official, uh, cooperating with the University of Ljubljana at the uh, major level. And the other one is uh, more unique for the Faculty of Sport. It is related to activities uh, that occur within uh, the faculty. So they organize different uh, courses, uh, like additional knowledges uh, from massage courses uh, to taping courses, etc. So very wide spectrum of additional activities throughout that. <laughs> Uh, they are taking care of your uh, social life at the faculty. Uh, they are organizing uh, from time to time after the uh, exam period is finished. Uh, there are student parties, of course. Uh, and also there is one unicum uh, in the area of ex-Yugoslavia, the physical education studies from all those countries uh, get together on a yearly basis. Uh, this is what they call Difoviada. And uh, it is really interesting. It's not only that you will get some uh, knowledge uh, at the faculty, uh, you will grow as a person, you will grow as an individual, um, uh, because these social connections uh, are really uh, great uh, at the Faculty of Sport. So I won't be uh, extending this presentation too long. Uh, I mean, majority of the uh, details are written on our web page. Uh, also do go to our YouTube uh, channel at the just enter faculty of sport, see different presentations that are there. And I will be able now to answer some specific questions regarding this study, which will probably be more interesting uh, for you. Thank you very much for attention. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Professor uh, Hajic. So uh, now uh, we will start uh, with the uh, faculty of uh, social sciences. And I would like to ask them to share their screen. Uh, Faculty of Social Sciences offers undergraduate programs, master study programs, and interdisciplinary doctoral, doctoral program in humanities and social sciences. And today with us are Petra Biziak, Lenka Živanovic, uh, a student from this faculty, as well as uh, Marian Oswald from a student office who will answer all your questions. So the floor is yours. So hello everyone and wel welcome to the presentation of our faculty. Uh, thank you so much for showing an interest uh, to, of, to study in our faculty. My name is Petra Biziak and I work at the Faculty of Social Sciences at the Stud Students Affairs Office. Uh, joining me today is also a student from Serbia, uh, Lenka Jivanovic. Can you say hi maybe, Lenka? 
Um, she is studying a bachelor program in international relations, and uh, she will uh, tell us her personal experience of studying in our faculty a bit later on. Uh, so uh, if you have any question related to our faculty or st study problem programs and so on, you can write them in the chat below and my colleague will answer them. Um, if you have any further questions, uh, we will open then the breakup room uh, for our faculty. So you're welcome to join. And you can also send us emails, which will be shown in my PowerPoint presentations and also in the chat below. Uh, okay, so before I start with presentation, uh, can you please uh, raise your hand the ones who are interested in the bachelor programs? Okay, thank you so much. And now for the master's program. Okay, great. And PhD? Okay. Uh, so, okay, thank you so much. Okay, so let's start with our presentation. So our Faculty of Social Sciences is the largest, largest interdisciplinary social science faculty in Slovenia and among the largest in Europe. We have various programs within the social science in and study scheme three plus two. Yeah, we all our faculty also includes uh, other fields. Uh, the faculty of social sciences uh, con uh, consists of world renowned lectures. We have a cen center uh, sci social science science library. You can see all this in the pictures below. We have an, our own research institute, and we have provide uh, provide professional service for working with students, uh, like student affairs office where I work, and international office. Uh, we have our own tutoring system and fourteen active students associations, modern lecture halls, and social work and workspaces. You can see them in the pictures below. So the uh, duration of the bachelor programs is three years and uh, it consists of 118 ACTs. So the students are offering, uh, uh, the foreign students are offered uh, the possibility of a year plus Year plus is a preparatory year for international st st students to adapt to the Slovenian system and culture. Because all, ba because all bachelor programs at our university, uh, sorry, at our faculty are in Slovenian language. So for more information about year plus, you we, we will send you a link in the chat. Marian, can you please send the link? Yes. And if you have more questions uh, for, for the year plus program, you can ask us in the breakout room. Mm -hmm. So uh, our faculty offers uh, 11 bachelor programs, which are following. Social informatics, media and communication studies, Communication studies in marketing, communication, and public relations, uh, cultural studies, studies of cultures and creativity, and international relations. And we go on. Uh, journalism, defense studies, political science, uh, public pol uh, policies and administration, political science, studies of politics and the state. Uh, psychology, psychology, human research management. And here you can also see how much enrolled places are for, for each of the program. For the Slovenian uh, candidates, European uh, candidates, non european candidates, and Slovenes without Slovene citizens. So 
So all the applications goes go to uh, via Avisha portal. So you can see here that the first application period for the Slovenian uh, and for European citizens are from 12th, 12th of February till 12th of March 2014. The second application period is from uh, 21 August till 27 of August or 12th till uh, 2024. And the first application period for non-European citizens is for 12th, uh, 12th of February till 19th of April 2024. Excuse me, there is a typo in this presentation. So we go, we continue to master programs. Duration of the studies for master programs is two years. And, and the, the, the information days for master programs will be on May 15, 2024. Uh, you can find more information about uh, the master's program in the email, uh, which you can see below. So our faculty offers 12 master programs. So the first four programs that are included here are uh, all in English language. So these are the following, social informatics, European studies, international relations, political science, political theory, global and strategic studies. So the following uh, programs are offered only in Slovenian language. So those are media and communication studies, cultural studies, journalism, defense and security studies, political science, comparative public police policies and administration, psychology, psychology, management of human resources, knowledge and organizations, and marketing, communication and public relations. So the application goes also via Avisha portal. A uh, call for the enrollment for master programs will be published on the website, which is stated here, approximately at the beginning of March of 2024. Uh, the whole enrollment process goes online. Candidates submit the application for enrollment or transfer the program to Avisha web portal, as mentioned before. PhD programs, uh, the information dates for PhD programs will be on May, May of 22, 2014. For more information about, about PhD programs, you can send an email to the, to the email that is listed below. Our faculty of, offers to, uh, 34 PhD programs, which are also listed here below. Uh, for example, medical studies, Balkan studies, life course studies, marketing communications. I won't read them all because there's too much of them. Maybe you can just go through them. And all is also published and at our uh, faculty websites. Okay, I mean, let's go on. Okay, now I will ask Elenka if she could, uh, could uh, tell us her personal experience for st uh, of studying at our faculty, maybe your Erasmus experience as well, since you're in Turkey right now. So I will, yeah. please, <clears throat> thank you. Yeah, hi. So as I already, we spoke a little bit before. So I introduced myself, I'm an international student from Serbia. I've been studying uh, for three years now at the Faculty of Social Sciences in uh, the in international relations. Uh, I also plan on enrolling in my master's degree in um, uh, at the Faculty of Social Sciences. Uh, but for now, I can mostly speak about my bachelor experience. 
uh, I already said that I am currently in my Erasmus uh, and I think it's a great opportunity for all also international students as our faculty has a lot of uh, bilateral and multilateral agreements with uh, various universities across Europe, also in non-EU member states such as Turkey. Um, and yeah, the thing is, um, I would like to hear your questions. Uh, I have a bit of experience. I can mostly help uh, with the IR um, course or uh, program, but I can also uh, guide you to people who know more about other uh, programs, as I am in the network of uh, tutor students for the entire faculty. Um, what's why I chose Ljubljana, maybe that is the best the uh, best starting point here is because I think it offers uh, a very valuable experience. Uh, it is a very well organized university uh, that offers not only theoretical knowledge, but also very practical knowledge uh, with many opportunities uh, for work uh, and also in uh, public institutions and other NGOs uh, or other uh, intergovernmental or governmental organizations. Uh, I personally plan on doing uh, my master's degree uh, throughout a bilateral program that is connected to the University of Graz in Austria. So basically, uh, by studying international relations, I also get to experience the international experience uh, through the possibilities that FEDEVA offers. And not only that, I think the professors of FEDEVA are very, very knowledgeable and very um, can guide you to uh, certain uh, connections or just uh, give you the very uh, intricate and uh, good knowledge about your uh, field of interest. So I will uh, just leave the rest of my presentation for the breakout rooms because I think it's most useful to hear our questions and then answer them directly. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lenka, for your share share experience. So, just I will continue the presentation. So here you can again see our website contact and our email address for bachelor programs and for master programs. And you're welcome to join our faculty. And thank you so much for your attention. That will be all for our side and for our side. So please join us for your question in the breakout room. Thank you. Thank you so much, Petra and uh, Linka. Uh, can you just stop share a screen? Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, as I already mentioned, we opened all the breakout rooms for all faculties at Academy. But please uh, join just uh, those uh, faculties and academy who presented. So now you can join the uh, breakout room for the Faculty of Social Sciences for more specific question and uh, for more detailed information. Uh, now uh, there there are uh, from a Faculty of Arts, everyone, right? Can you please start? Uh, can you please try to share the screen uh, to see if? Uh, Doris, maybe uh, is everything okay? And um, just in case, Doris, uh, okay, I think we can start with your presentation now. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Do you see my presentation? Okay, hello and uh, welcome uh, to today's presentation of uh, Faculty of Arts. My name is uh, Doris Sattler and I am Assistant Secretary General for Study Affairs for all three cycles of studies. And I have two uh, colleagues with me, Andrea Okerschler uh, and uh, Mia Hochever, who will uh, help me to answer two uh, possible questions you might have during my presentation or in the breakout rooms. Uh, so I will start with the presentation of Faculty of Arts. Uh, on the left uh, picture, you can see a Faculty of Arts. Uh, faculty of Arts is the oldest faculty of the University of Ljubljana. 
uh, and uh, in 1919 just celebrated its 100th anniversary. Uh, it is also the largest university unit in Slovenia, considering the number of disciplines that we cover, the number of study programs, the number of staff, and the number of students. We have around 4,000 to 5,000 students enrolled per academic year and a lot of study programs uh, up to 80 and uh, more than 700 employees and uh, the faculty of arts is also the leading slovenian faculty in the field of humanities and social sciences we have 21 departments covering 31 fields and we also have a separate physical education division uh, the degree structure at Faculty of Arts is uh, uh, the length of the bachelor program is three years, the length of master programs is two years, and the length of doctoral uh, programs is four years. Uh, I will start with first cycle degree programs. They last two, three years and have 118 ECTS. We have 34 first cycle degree study programs. Uh, we offer uh, uh, single programs and single courses uh, where you can study one discipline and we also this is some, one of our specialties we offer combined study programs and combined uh, courses uh, where you can combine and study two disciplines which certainly contributes also to to your employability after finishing the studies you have all the list of uh, first cycle degree program and courses uh, is avail available on the links on the left and also the contacts of the administrative offices if you will need to contact us in the future. Uh, the uh, presentation will also be available on our website. I will now give you uh, a short overview of uh, how you can combine our first uh, uh, cycle degree programs uh, there is a rule that uh, you can combine uh, combined study programs with combined study programs, combined study programs with combined study courses, and combined study courses with combined study courses. So the magic uh, uh, rule is that if there is a combine in the name of the program, you can combine them together. However, you cannot combine a single subject bachelor programs and single courses because you study in this case only one discipline. And of course, it is also uh, not possible to combine study courses of the study program translation uh, with each other. Uh, if you will have some dilemmas regarding combining the study programs, of course, we have also a table available. And also, you can call us if you have any further questions regarding this. Uh, the call for enrollment uh, for uh, first cycle degree program has already been published. And uh, uh, these are the uh, deadlines to apply for first application period for Slovene and EU nationals and Slovenian without Slovenian citizenship. The deadline to apply is March 20th. And for non-EU citizen, the deadline is April 19. And for a second application period for Slovenian and EU nationals and Slovenian without Slovenian citizen, the deadline is 27 August. And for non-EU citizen, is, uh, the deadline is from 3rd to 4th September 2024. Of course, uh, only those uh, who already received uh, are already holding a decision on recognition uh, can apply to the se uh, second application period. Uh, Doris, we are now seeing just the fourth slide. It's not going forward. Uh -huh, I think uh -huh, that okay. it's because you are just sharing the PowerPoint presentation, but you have to, have to uh, share the whole screen. No, I'm not just, uh, I'm sharing the whole presentation. Okay, uh, yes, now we can see it. Um, okay, now we, we see the slide six. Okay. Can you just try to... Now, how about the... now? Do you see the seventh? No, still the six. Yeah, let them... Same problem. Takoj, kodam na dia projekcija problem, zgleda. 
ampak da te dia projekt kliknete na dia projekcijo samega PowerPointa ali da te tam kjer piše ekran ena ali screen ena ne pač power celo vedno delam na isti način ne? a po pa ne vem ja no bom se tako premikala no okay. a tako vidite zdaj smo na šestki kaj pa zdaj ja ja sedam zdaj smo pa na sedam ja uh... Uh, so uh, if I continue, um, uh, how and when to apply, we checked the deadlines. Uh, and now uh, uh, I will give you some more information. You give one application in first and second application period uh, with, of course, maximum three choices. And it is very important that you uh, uh, write the right order of options. So you always write your first priority on the first place. This is very important because that is the, 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 um, that's how you, we, you will be chosen based on your priorities. Uh, so you apply via the web portal EVSH. Uh, the applications are managed by the University of Ljubljana and uh, they will also inform you on the outcome. So if you are accepted, however, uh, Faculty of Arts uh, will inform you how to enroll later on. Uh, so uh, 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 students from the countries with which we have a uh, bilateral agreement uh, uh, don't need to pay the tuition fee. These are Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Serbia, Montenegro, and Kosovo. Uh, also, uh, we are about to sign uh, the bilateral agreement with Albania, but we don't know yet when it will be signed. Um, I will now continue with second cycle degree programs. Uh, we have uh, uh, our second cycle degree master programs last two years and have 120 ECTS. We offer 41 second cycle degree programs and uh, we offer single study programs, courses where you can study one discipline, combined study courses when you can combine two disciplines and we also offer combined teacher education programs of courses and joint study programs. Uh, uh, you have the list of second cycle programs on the link on the left and also on our website. Uh, but there is a, a little exception to the rule of combining that I explained for the first cycle degree programs. And I will uh, try to explain uh, uh, in this slide how it goes on. So you can combine, as mentioned before, combined study programs with combined study programs. You can combine uh, combined study courses with combined study courses. You can combine combined study program with combined study course. Uh, and of course, also combine teacher education programs with combined teacher education programs. However, andragogy and pedagogy, they are both combined teacher education program, but they cannot be bound together. Uh, then again, it is not possible uh, to combine teacher education programs with combined study programs. The, again, the exception to the rules are and andragogy and pedagogy combined teacher education courses and programs that can, can be combined with combined study programs or courses and combined teacher education programs or courses. And again, the problems are also combining uh, study programs within a program. So I hope that it was uh, it is a bit complicated be because there are some exceptions. But if you will have any uh, any questions regarding uh, possibility of uh, a combining programs, you can contact us, or we also have uh, on our website a table where it is uh, explained which programs can be combined uh, together. Uh, and when you apply through Evasha portal, uh, it is also, if, if it is not possible to combine program, it is not possible to choose uh, this uh, combination. Uh, um, the call for enrollment for second cycle degree programs has not been published yet. We expect it will be published in uh, March. Uh, but there, I will give you some foreseen dates. So for Slovenian in EU citizens, 
uh, the, the deadline of application is uh, August 26. You give one application to the Faculty of Arts with three options. And again, it is very important that you write your first priority on, on your first place. Uh, the deadline for EU citizen and Slovenians without Slovenian citizen is July 4th. And again, you give one application with three options. Uh, and uh, the second application period is foreseen uh, to be until 20 September. Uh, in this uh, second application uh, period, students can apply on to available places that were not occupied in the first application period. The, the, the programs will be published uh, uh, when we know which are these programs, we will publish them on, the, on our website. Uh, again, you apply via the portal EVASHA. There are all the instructions how you apply. And if you will have any uh, problems with the procedures, you can contact uh, the University of Ljubljana Health Center or also us. We will try to help you so you will be able to apply without problems. Uh, um, we also offer third cycle degree programs that uh, the length of the uh, third cycle degree doctor programs is four years and have 240 ECTS credit points. Um, we, together with Faculty of Social uh, Sciences uh, and faculty, we uh, together, Faculty of Arts, together with the Faculty of Social Sciences, we carry out the interdisciplinary doctoral study program in humanities and social sciences. But uh, also Faculty Arts of Social Work, Faculty of Theology, Academy of Fine Arts and Design, Academy of Music uh, and Academy of Theatre, Radio, Film and Television are cooperating with this, within carrying uh, out this program. Uh, uh, we uh, offer 64 uh, fields of study altogether. Uh, and the pub, the call for pro proposals will be also published uh, published in March. Uh, we, however, also cooperate with carrying out the interdisciplinary doctoral program in environmental protection and uh, interdisciplinary doctoral program in statistics. On the left side, you also have all the contacts if you need uh, more detailed information. Uh, and also information on the doctoral study programs and its field on the left side. Uh, I will say a few words uh, on language. Uh, the language of instruction at the Faculty of Arts is Slovene, uh, except in the language departments where the language studies is, of course, also the language of instruction. Uh, however, some programs in both cycles of studies require the knowledge of Slovene before enrollment. So these uh, programs in the first cycle are psychology, uh, comparative literature and literary theory, both single and combined course, and Slovene studies, this single and combined course. And on the second cycle, these programs are psychology, uh, Slovene study, or courses of Slovene studies, uh, and a pedagogy, single teacher education master's program and combined teacher education master's program. Uh, it is important to mention that even if the knowledge of Slovenia is not one of the conditions to apply for enrollment, it is strongly recommended to have some knowledge of Slovenia to be able, of course, to uh, follow the lectures. Uh, uh, Faculty of Arts also has an international office that provides administrative assistance and information to international exchange students. Uh, and it is also responsible for organization and application procedures for all exchange programs uh, uh, that uh, um, our faculty offers. Uh, we, uh, we offer different courses in English to international students. It is called the so-called Erasmus basket. Uh, and uh, there are some additional courses uh, in English uh, for exchange students that are offered, offered by some other departments uh, as well. Uh, more information in, is on the link uh, below. One of the advantages 
of uh, Faculty of uh, Arts is also a successful tutoring system. Um, and the aim of our tutoring system is, of course, to offer organized help to newcomers, new students, uh, with helping them with solving uh, some general or specific problems. Uh, especially, we also focus to those students uh, that have special needs. Uh, the aim of our student uh, tutoring system is also to strengthen the contact between students and teachers uh, uh, within a faculty and also to contribute to uh, um, their uh, success during uh, their studies and uh, better student mobility and higher quality of studies. Every freshman is assigned uh, a tutor so that uh, his inclusion into the faculty is more smooth. Uh, currently, there are at least uh, 150 active tutors at the Faculty of Arts. You have also available uh, some more information uh, on tutoring system uh, uh, on the link uh, provided. One of the biggest uh, uh, um, advantages of Faculty of Arts is also that it has a huge Center of Humanities Liberty Library, uh, which is the largest among the libraries at University of Ljubljana uh, and the fifth largest library in Slovenia. Uh, it comprises of uh, uh, 18 departmental libraries and the collection counts around uh, uh, 800,000 units and of course keeps a lot of exceptional uh, collections and books and maps and music and so on. Uh, Faculty of Arts also has a scientific research institute, which was established uh, to coordinate scientific research at the faculty. Um, uh, research uh, work uh, that is a pillar of the development of the faculty facilitate numerous interconnections and opportunities for interdisciplinarity at our faculty. Uh, the scientific uh, institute manages uh, more than 100 projects per year and brings together more than 400 researchers. It also organizes all kinds uh, of scientific meetings and symposiums and other uh, uh, events. Uh, for the conclusion of my presentation, uh, I will give you, I will try to wrap up some uh, reasons why to uh, study at Faculty of Arts. First, because it uh, has a long and well-established tradition of excellence in teaching and research. Uh, then, because it has a wide variety of degree programs and courses, so single courses where you study one discipline and combine courses uh, and uh, where you can combined two fields and on the second cycle also combined teacher programs and courses and of course also uh, joint programs on the second cycle. Uh, third, uh, the variety of academic disciplines and the presence of different sources of knowledge at the same location facilitates and encourages an interdisciplinary approach in the transfer of knowledge, uh, as well as in the study experience itself. Uh, the next uh, reason would be also that it offers a comprehensive support to students throughout their studies uh, uh, by providing a good and successful tutoring ses uh, system uh, we have three student offices, one for every cycle for undergraduate, master and doctoral and give you a lot of support during your, uh, uh, if you are involved in some procedures at the faculty uh, and also uh, are, you are offered also some kind of special uh, uh, 
uh, support by departmental offices. Uh, Faculty of Arts has a very long tradition also in sports, enabling students to choose and practice regularly two different sports, uh, 20 different sports disciplines. And last but not least, it also has a large library at a hand reach for students. So you don't need to go anywhere. You can find all the literature uh, at the faculty. Uh, which is the largest among the libraries of, at the University of Ljubljana and the fifth largest library also in Slovenia. Uh, so with this, we would move to questions. Uh, I would like to thank you for your attention. Uh, and I would like to invite those who have some questions and dilemmas to our breakup rooms, if I understood correctly. Uh, and if there are some people who are already decided and uh, 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 and will not come to our breakup room, thank you for your attention. And we hope to see you in October at the Faculty of Arts. Thank you so much. And as Doris said, uh, you are now uh, welcome to join uh, Faculty of Arts a breakout room for more uh, specific question for uh, more information. Uh, so uh, before we start with the uh, uh, School of Economics and Business, bec because we have roughly 13 minutes, um, I will just uh, quickly uh, ask our uh, student ambassador, Christian, um, some uh, question related to how it's like to be international student ambassador. And what are your activities and how you can help future students and current students? Uh, thank you very much, Liliana. Um, being an international student is really interesting, really fun, because at the, as I mentioned in my first presentation, uh, it can be sometimes uh, challenging to overcome issues or just to know where to ask questions. Because when you're in a new environment, uh, you find yourself with a lot of open questions and you don't know how to find the answers for. But fortunately uh, for all of us, there is something called chat with international student ambassadors, where students from different countries, uh, such as myself and 14 others, come together uh, and help uh, international students. What we do is we are here um, to discuss any doubts, any questions, because at the beginning of your studies, um, you will probably wonder a lot. Uh, you will still search for answers about your faculty, about the courses you're going to study, about uh, how is life in Slovenia, but also before coming in Slovenia, some of the questions may arouse and you, you would just like to um, discuss it with some other students that already uh, went through the process and know how it's done or just experienced it. And um, we are here to help you with all of your questions to find the answers and explain everything, uh, how it's done, uh, what to do step by step. If uh, you want, we can discuss it, for example, via email or sometimes in my experience, I've talked with students also by phone, email, we were, you know, that we are um, social creatures. So we don't, uh, uh, we, we really uh, trying to be as available as possible and we use all uh, means of uh, communication. So uh, we would like to see ourselves as um, the first stop on the way to Slovenia, uh, where you can, um, a turn to and uh, find uh, help and uh, let's say um, additional support if, if anything arises. And uh, we also share uh, our experiences uh, in videos. We film videos uh, for you guys um, where we explain different topics such as uh, how is to live in Slovenia, what kind of opportunities there are, uh, what kind of career development opportunities you can pursue if you're here or um, what fun things you can do where you're one, while you're here in Ljubljana. Also, how to um, where to go, what to see, um, what where to ask the right questions, uh, how to prepare before coming in Slovenia. So all of these questions we also have on our web page answered. But for those who would like to just sit down, uh, I don't know, take some popcorn or uh, drinks, 
and to watch, uh, they can uh, do that as well. And um, for those specific questions that you may have, we have um, we are always available on our emails. So if you have anything that you think that is more specific and you can find the answers to on Google or on the university webpage, you can write to us and we can uh, connect you with the right persons or we can also uh, answer some of those questions ourselves. So um, the idea of the International Students Ambassadors is to be kind of a support for all the students and uh, um, just exchange the knowledge in a friendly way. We are planning also on organizing a mutual activities with international students, for example, go sightseeing or uh, just uh, hanging out uh, so that uh, you have as smooth um, um, a start as possible. And um, we are also helping from this year with the um, admission uh, uh, of the documents for temporary uh, residence permit because um, um, there are a lot of questions uh, that students bring up about regarding the uh, uh, how to get a permanent visa or how to get a temporary visa or how to um, just uh, register your address. And we, uh, with the uh, administrative unit and the university, uh, share and provide information and guidance. And we go through all of the documents together. Uh, this year in September, we had three weeks special desk for students where we uh, just together went through the documents. Okay, these are the right documents. You have everything. We checked everything and you can go and apply and you know that uh, you've provided the right documents. So from all sides, uh, in a way, we are the support uh, for you guys. And uh, please don't um, hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. And if you just uh, would like to have a personal touch or just um, hear uh, the experience of, of someone else, you can always look at the uh, presentation and videos on YouTube, or you can just uh, write directly to us. We are from different countries um, and um, we speak different languages. So maybe you can also write in your mother tongue or your mother language and uh, you can get the answer back. Uh, and maybe it would be easier for you also to, to understand each other. So um, as I mentioned, we are uh, today, uh, I'm here with you. And uh, at the end of the presentation, if you have specific questions for me, you can uh, ask them or, um, if not, we are always available on our social media, uh, on the website, uh, and uh, also email. So I think that's about it. Uh, thank you so much, Christian. Um, another activity that I already presented you in the general presentation is the uh, virtual fair in the uh, where you can find our virtual booths of all our members. So first of all, I would also like to invite you to some of presentations that some of our member members will have uh, at this uh, virtual fair. So today was the presentation of the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology. And uh, we will, of course, um, publish all of their presentations on our uh, website. Uh, so follow that. Uh, next presentations are from the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering that will be on the 27th of February at 2 p.m. And the next will be of the Faculty of Pharmacy at 28th of February at 1 p.m. So uh, follow the platform of this virtual fair as well as their social networks, as well as our uh, website Study Ulla. And you will find uh, many more information about the activities um, during this uh, virtual fair. And um, as I said, uh, we will publish on our web page uh, all of uh, these uh, presentations. But of course, uh, during this uh, presentation in the uh, presentations in the conference room, you will be able to ask questions uh, to uh, our members and find more about uh, their programs and studying at uh, their uh, their faculty. Uh, now I will also like to share my screen with you and just to quickly uh, share with you how this um, virtual fair looked like, uh, just in case uh, some of you do not know about this virtual fair. So I hope you can see my screen. Uh, Christian, we can see uh, virtual fair, right? So, uh, okay, I will start uh, from the beginning. Uh, so uh, this is this virtual fair. Um, this is what it looks like. 
and um, you can also skip this step, of course. Uh, and then you will come here to uh, the, these flags and you can choose Slovenia, uh, where you can find uh, Slovenian universities. Here is University of Ljubljana, and as you can see here, uh, you can find all 26 members of uh, our university. Um, uh, Christian, we can see, uh, right, everything? <laughs> yeah. So I'm clicking on the University of Ljubljana. Can you see the virtual boot of uh, our university, right? So here you can see some of our videos. Um, here uh, some uh, about us. Uh, uh -huh, okay, just second <laughs> okay our welcome guide uh, as well as some brochures that we have uh, so uh, you will also have uh, our social media so uh, this is uh, everything it's uh, like on this boot for every uh, every each member so uh, as I said uh, you can check this. Uh, it's in English, uh, but as I said, this is a regional uh, regional fair, uh, but uh, all information are in English, so uh, that are uh, for everyone uh, that can everyone understand. Now, uh, I think uh, it's a time for School of Economics and Business. Uh, so the School of Economics and Business is Slovenian's a leading uh, education institution in the fields of economics and uh, business sciences. It uh, provides internationally recognized and comparable degree programs on all degree levels and in the double degree uh, programs. Uh, so um, with us today is Martina Sagir, uh, interna uh, international student recru recruiter. And so please, Martina, can you uh, share your screen with us? Just to check if everything is okay. Yes. Hi, Liliana. Hi, Christian. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, Let me nice just share my screen. Uh, so, hello, everyone. My name is Martina Sagir. I'm a head of a student affairs office at the School of Economics and Business. And uh, thank you for joining me to this uh, online information session where I will present uh, School of Economics and Business. Uh, our programs that are carried out in English at uh, the bachelor level, at the master level, and also at the doctoral level, and activities that our school offers to our students. Uh, first, I will start with the School of Economics and Business. It's one of the biggest members of the University of Ljubljana. It was established in 1946. And today we have more than 4,700 students enrolled in all three uh, levels of education. And among them, we have also around 1,000 international students, students who are coming to full-time degree programs, uh, to exchange programs, and also to the summer or winter summer school and participate in the short programs. So we calculate that all students who are uh, here at our school, it's more than 70 nationalities represented across our campus here in Bezigrad. It's not in center, but it's uh, a little bit, a uh, few kilometers away from the center. As you see also in the picture, this is our school. And what we are very proud of, that the School of Economics and Business holds three most prestigious international accreditations in the field of business and economics. As you can see, EQUIS is a European accreditation for business schools. AACBS is American accreditation. And we also hold AMBA accreditation, which is for our MBA executive program. All these three accreditations, there are only around 70 business schools around the, uh, around the world. Uh, that hold all these three accreditations, which uh, make us top 1% of all the business and economic schools in the world. And not just that, also our school is, uh, uh, is um, like uh, running on the Financial Times ranking. So our school is among the top 95 European business schools already for five or six years, if I'm not mistaken. And also our two programs that we uh, offer at the master level, which is IMB program, Master in Management, 
uh, ranks among the top uh, business schools in the field of Financial Times ranking. Nevertheless, uh, we also hold the green flag. Our school is athlete friendly uh, school, so we can we offer our students top athletes to study and also uh, continue with their sport uh, education. And uh, we also uh, measure the impact through business school impact system. And uh, also Slovenia is the uh, charter signatory for the Slovenian diversity chapter from 2017. I will continue now with our uh, presentation of the programs that we offer on the bachelor level. We do offer two programs. One is university degree program in business and economics, which we offer to our students in Slovenian or in English language. The other program is professional degree program in business and administration. And this program is carried out only in Slovenian language. The problem stru structure of our bachelor programs is three years or six semesters. Uh, at the end, uh, students receive 180 ECTS. You can study full-time or part-time. So if you want to study in English, you have to choose full-time mode. Uh, our part-time modes, our part-time programs are carried out only in Slovenian. And after you receive, after you finish all the courses, you will receive the degree, which is considered first cycle graduate. Uh, this is the professional degree program in business administration, which is carried out only in Slovenian language. The first uh, year of the study, it's common for all students. So all students have same courses. And only when you progress into second year, you have to choose specialization. These are the eight specialization that we offer at the professional degree program in business and business administration. Our program that is carried out also in English language is university degree program in business and economics. And as you can see on the slide, we offer 12 specialization, but only three of them are offered in English. So if you want to study in English at our bachelor level, when you progress into second year of the study, you choose specialization international business or marketing or tourism. Tourism is a new specialization that we will offer from next year, first time. This is the program structure of our bachelor uh, bachelor program. As you can see, first year, uh, 10 courses. Uh, each semester, is uh, you will be designed to study five courses. As you can see, all of them are um, uh, common. So all students have the same uh, courses and their basic courses that you start with. Also, the first year is the most selective. So uh, we, we advise all students in the first year to focus on the study and only when you progress into second year, maybe find also part-time job to help you with the living cost here in Slovenia. The second year is already divided. Uh, as you can see on the slide, you will have different courses. If it depends from your specialization, but in the third year, when you will have also four courses that are specific only to your specialization. So if you choose international business, you can see here on the slides which courses that will be obligatory for you, or if you will choose marketing, or if you will choose tourism. And on the right or left side of the slide are the courses which uh, are uh, for all students in the third year doesn't matter which specialization you will choose, international business, marketing, or tourism. This, our bachelor program is uh, very much incorporated in also in our internationalization. So you will have a possibility to attend the double degree option. Uh, what does it mean, double degree option? It means that uh, your first two years, you have to pass all the courses at our school. And in the second year, you will apply for the double degree option. If you will be uh, chosen, we will send you, you will send you, or you will choose which school you want to spend the third year. And you can see here on the slide, if you will be on the specialization international business, you have two possibilities to go to France, to our very top uh, business school in Europe, Audencia Business School, 
or into Korea to Chonam National University. If you will be on the specialization marketing, you have three possibilities. So also Chonam University in Korea or Catch Top Business School in France, definitely. And also, or Germany, which is one of the top schools, uh, which is Forsheim University Business School. So you can spend one year there. On the end, students will receive their diploma from their school and our diploma. I will move now to our master programs. So our master programs, as you can see here on the slides, we have many programs uh, for different, uh, different areas. And uh, I advise you that you check directly on our webpage for the courses that are designed for each program. Uh, we have more business-oriented programs like Master in Supply Chain and Logistics or Master in Marketing or Master in International Business and Business Informatics. These programs are, all, are designed for business-oriented students. Uh, more economic-oriented master programs is a new program. Uh, it's not new, but it's a renewed program, Economics with Data Science. Uh, it's a new curriculum, uh, new courses offered in this program, and uh, I believe it will be very interesting for all students. Uh, we also offer Master in Money and Finance or Money in Quantitative Finance and Actuarial Science. This program is actually designed that you choose what, which track you want to follow more. Depends on the courses, so you have more into Quantitative Finance or you design your program more into actuarial science. Uh, we also offer master in bank and financial management and uh, IMB program, business and organization, I already mentioned. This is a special program. Uh, it's more intense program for uh, students who would like to um, finish study uh, before then in two years. We also offer one program that is in part-time mode. This is Master in Sport Management. This is the only course, the, uh, the only program that is offered in part-time mode. All the rest of the programs that you see here on our slides are uh, master uh, are full-time courses. As I said, our master is two years. Uh, so it's continuation, a three, three years bachelor, two year master. So master, it consists from four semesters. If you will check our curriculum from the master programs, you will also notice that the last semester, the fourth semester is, uh, uh, it's designed mainly for the master thesis and uh, for the students who will not have recognized the elective courses, it means master, master thesis and elective courses. It's only in the fourth semester. So we encourage students to finish in two years as much as possible. After you finish our master programs, you will receive 100 in, 120 ECTS. Uh, as I have said, uh, the full-time mode is for all our master programs, except for the sport management program. And after you finish uh, the master degree, you will receive second cycle graduate diploma, which uh, can lead you or you can apply for PhD. A little bit more about our uh, flagship of uh, master programs, which is IMB program. Uh, it actually means International Master in Business and Organization. This is the program that it's uh, already for a few years ranking on the uh, Financial Times. Uh, it's one of the top 100 best master in management programs. And uh, you can also read here on the slide why is the top program. It's uh, designed for ambitious students because it's very intense program. In one year, you finish all the five, uh, 15 courses. And the second year, you can focus on the master thesis. So it's really up to you when you want to finish uh, this program as fast as you can write your master thesis. And of course, you also have one research program, a uh, research uh, project uh, that you will present at the business conference in Porto Roche. Uh, the professors are coming from all over the world. Uh, they're not just uh, professors from our school or from our university. And of course, it offers a real life business experience. 
you work on the real life uh, cases that are offered from our companies who are working with us. And a lot of students get already offer for a job position during the study or as, as quickly as they finish all the courses. Also on the master level, we have double degree partners. Uh, this is uh, all of them who are offered uh, among us. Uh, there, these partners are top universities uh, in Europe. I believe you also know this uh, these schools or universities. So BI Norwegian School of Business, I think everybody knows this school, or ISTE or NOVA, NOVA Information Management School is a school in Portugal where we have a double degree program with our business informatics program. And uh, also Neoma Business School from France or Aachen University, this is a new one from Germany offered for our bachelor, uh, for our master programs uh, going on a double degree option for international business. Um, Maybe just another thing I want to add, double degree option. Uh, so students finish first year at our school and at the same uh, first year, and then they apply if they want to go abroad for this double degree option. Means one year here in Slovenia and one year at the partner school. Uh, this is the admission criteria for our master programs, not for double degree, but for enrolling into first year. Uh, so graduate of first level programs uh, receiving at least 180 ECTS and of course uh, from the field of business and economics. In case you're not coming from this field, if you're coming from the different uh, school than economics and business, uh, most likely you will have to pass two differential exams. But I advise students if you don't know, if you had some economic or business uh, courses, you can send us your transcript and we will check uh, specifically for which course, for which program you want to apply. And if you meet the admission criteria, if you don't know, if you don't uh, admit the admission criteria, of course, then you'll have to pass two differential exams, which will be held uh, online uh, in May and in June. So quite uh, early. So you need to plan this in advance in case you would not meet the admission criteria. This is already a, a deadlines for the uh, candidates applying for the master uh, master programs. The first deadline will be 1st of July and the second deadline 30 of August, which means some programs we do uh, fill all the slots in the first application deadlines and some programs not. So the programs that are not, they will have a second uh, round of application open till 30 of August. This is the last deadline for you if you're finishing if you're finishing your degree abroad, not in Slovenia. You need to graduate till 30 of August. This is the document for applying for the master programs. Um, all this you can also find on our website. The call for enrollment for the master studies is not yet published, so you can still await that we open the application and also all the dates and all the documents will be updated on our website. Um, I would like to move uh, to new uh, topic, which is tuition fee. I believe uh, all of you know who pays tuition fee and who not. So majority of EU and the countries which we have bilateral agreement, they do not pay tuition fee. But if you're coming from uh, other non-EU country, in this case, you will need to pay tuition fee, which is for bachelor's study, 3,400 euros per year for full-time study, or if you will choose master, it's 4,700 euros per year, um, also for full-time study. Uh, moving to new level of education, this is doctoral study. Also here we offer economic, uh, economics or business uh, doctoral study. And among both of them, you can also choose majors, which you can see here on the slides. So our doctoral study lasts for four years and the tuition fee is 4,700 euros per year. 
uh, application will also open soon and it will close uh, in the middle of June. Uh, I would like to emphasize here to go on our website, uh, School of Economics and Business, because we just published an online doctoral information session, which will be carried out 20 of March. So if you want to hear more about the doctoral studies, if you're interested in this field, I suggest uh, you uh, join us on 20 of March. This is our partner institution worldwide, uh, as I was talking already about the double degree option, which is just one of the options for our students. You can also choose one semester or exchange, uh, exchange program uh, at our partner universities. On the slides, you can just see our list of partner schools, a majority of them coming from Europe, of course, but of course, I encourage ambitious, ambitious students to also maybe check the possibilities or they have a desire to go out of, outside of Europe and spend one or even two semesters abroad outside of Europe. This is our academic calendar. We will start in October. We have only one enrollment per year. Uh, we first semester uh, last till uh, January, then we have one month of examination period. And the second semester we start in mid-February, actually this week, which we just start the second semester, which will last till June. And then again, new examination period for the courses that are in this semester. Uh, I would like to also encourage students, uh, if they will come to our School of Economics and Business, there are many activities that they will be offered outside of curriculum. So not just lecture, not just uh, exercises from with our professors in the lecture rooms. A lot of things is happening outside of the lecture rooms, outside of the curriculum that we offer to our students. So. Once you will be here, you will see what else we offer, what students offer, a student competition, case studies, or student associations who are having their own um, activities or from our company visits uh, or career center will offer you different workshops or events here at the school. I encourage all the students to be active participants here and I think you will learn, learn a lot and also gain a lot of knowledge outside of the lecture room among the other students coming to our school or doing different business events at our school. This is just few of them that we want to um, give uh, information to you. Also year plus, uh, this is for international students designed to study also Slovene. You will be able to apply for year plus only in September when the application will open. And of course, I think this is a great idea to also get to know Slovenia, where you will be living. And if you will choose our school, if you will be accepted, you will be studying in Ljubljana, which is the capital of our uh, of uh, Slovenia. It's a small city, only 300,000 inhabitants, and we like to call it, it's also a student-friendly city. It's around 40,000 students living here, and uh, I believe this is a great place for you to come to study and to live, as in Slovenia, we like, we like to call it a student is privilege. Uh, we offer subsidized meal coupons to students, which is uh, state is actually subventioning you your lunch here in Slovenia. Uh, you can also get student bus ticket or other discounts. Anyway, it's uh, recommended to always say that you're a student, doesn't matter where you go. I'm sure they will find you some discount. And as a student, you can also work in Slovenia. Uh, as I said, we don't recommend the first year when you come here, when you get to know, when you get to settle, but maybe later on you can also find a part-time job or a job when you have more, uh, less, less study and you can work more, let's say summer job. This is few cost of living estimated living in Ljubljana. The majority of the costs will definitely be accommodation as international students will have to find private accommodation. And uh, we do advise to find it in advance as in September is really hard to find uh, empty room 
because all of the students start the semester. Uh, at the end of my presentation, I would also like to share this with you, our uh, short time program that is carried out in July. This is our biggest uh, summer school, um, Ljubljana Summer School, take the best from East and West uh, that should be offered to our students. Even if you maybe end up in some other school, maybe you can come for this short uh, program uh, during the July, during the summer, and you can also learn, you can have fun, and you can meet students from all over the world and make new connections. Uh, on the end, I would just like to invite you to our social media, where a lot of uh, things, events, what is happening is published, and you get can get the glimpse how the student life here in at our school uh, goes. And this is uh, our contact. You can contact us via WhatsApp or Viber from abroad, or you can call me or send me email. Uh, for the end, I would like to say thank you for listening to me. And of course, uh, I think we go into chat now or break room where you can uh, give me all your questions uh, what you still want to know. Thank you very much for your attention. Yes, thank you so much, Martina, for this beautiful presentation. So uh, now all of you that are interested in studying a School of Economics and Business uh, can join the breakout room. Uh, the breakout room calls, of course, School of Economics and Business. And now um, next is, as I said, Faculty of Public Administration, uh, this faculty holds the longest tradition of education in the field of administration in Slovenia. Uh, students can develop and deepen their knowledge and skills in the bachelor, master's, and of course, doctoral degree programs. So I would like to ask uh, Dr. Tatiana Koziak and Natasha Ferderber, Ferderber uh, sorry, uh, to share their screen and just to see if everything is working. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tatiana Kudiek. I'm a wise dean of the uh, uh, Faculty of Public Administration. Uh, together with me is Natasha Federer. She's a head of Student Affairs Office. Uh, we will present you Faculty of Public Administration. Uh, for the beginning, I will, I will share you a uh, uh, video. I hope that everything will be good. Please uh, let me know if something's not, if you will not see it. Uh, it is a presentation of faculty and also a study program to the faculty. Welcome to the Faculty of Public Administration at the University the of Ljubljana. The faculty, boasting the longest tradition of education in the in the field of administration in Slovenia provides for the transfer of knowledge based on the development and integration of findings from various disciplines and linking with domestic and international practice. The Faculty of Public Administration is the only faculty in the region that has obtained the most important European accreditation for the education in the field of public administration, the EAPAA which has been awarded to three of our study programs. The faculty is also a member of the EMPA network, which groups together the leading European master's study programs in the field of public administration. We do not see our students as numbers. During their studies, we provide them with a personal approach, a rich selection of international exchanges, various forms of tutoring, and the possibility of developing additional competencies within extracurricular activities. The faculty is an athlete-friendly organization. Through afternoon lectures and part-time remote study, we also make full-time study possible for employed individuals. The faculty premises are well maintained with modern equipment and accessible to people with disabilities. In the first cycle of studies, students can choose between three study programs, offering theoretical and practical knowledge and competencies for work in practice. In the two second cycle study programs, the students will deepen and gain additional knowledge and competencies that will benefit them in employment. The joint doctoral study program, which we are conducting in cooperation with the Faculty of Economics of the University of Rijeka, provides students with the knowledge required for solving the most demanding theoretical and practical challenges. Our researchers participate in domestic and international projects and showcase the results of their work in renowned scientific journals and conferences at home and abroad. Internationally, we are involved in academic cooperation through exchanges of students, teaching staff, researchers and professional staff. 
In the field of knowledge transfer, we have been establishing close links with external stakeholders from the public and private sectors, while through the Education and Counselling Centre, we have been strengthening our role in education, counselling and networking. Through the Centre of Development of Pedagogical Excellence, we have been focusing on systems of comprehensive quality with an emphasis on the development of study programmes and the implementation of the educational process, as well as the development of the competencies of teachers and graduates. Therefore, our graduates have a wide range of job opportunities in various positions in the public administration and private companies, in non-governmental organisations and in European Union institutions. Our graduates are given the opportunity to stay in contact after their studies through the Alumni Club of the Faculty of Public Administration. The faculty encompasses a library, which is a specialised information and documentation centre for the field of public administration. It offers over 30,000 units of library material to its members. The faculty has its own publishing house, which publishes important scientific achievements in the field of public administration science, both globally and in Slovenia. The faculty publishes a peer-reviewed scientific journal, the Central European Public Administration Review, which is included in various international bibliographic databases. Thus, the Faculty of Public Administration remains a source of knowledge for students and a juncture for the development of the science of public administration in the region. We are looking forward to our cooperation. Thank you. Now we are going further. Uh, as you can see, the Faculty of Public Administration is the leading education and research institution in the field of public administration in Slovenia. Uh, important for the Faculty of Public Administration is that we have, um, we enhances and you enhances multidisciplinary knowledge in administration, law, organization, economics, management, and informatics. This is important because many jobs that doesn't even exist now, and it is important that you know um, that you have very broad knowledge of different fields. As we can see, uh, we have very um, um, uh, connected with very uh, different fields and knowledge. Uh, our uh, structure, the infrastructure is very um, new, and we also have a specialized library at the faculty. Um, no, let's go further. Uh, as you can see in the video, our faculty has a, a, a certificate a, a accreditation, APA accreditation. This is European Association for Public Administration Accreditation, which is the most important for the uh, public administration programs uh, at uh, EU level. So our programs are well known and uh, also in EU because it is uh, our knowledge or students' knowledge uh, get very um, good knowledge. So uh, this accreditation association uh, uh, also show this um, important certificate. Uh, can you go further? Uh, this is Ljubljana, as you can also see in uh, when it was uh, business school presented. So let's go further. Uh, we have three study programs, bachelor, master, and PhD program. Um, maybe I can ask you which program from, for which program you are interested that I will uh, give more attention to this program. As I can see in the um, uh, Excel document, many students asked for the bachelor uh, program. Please um, write in your um, chat. Uh, which is the most interesting for you so that I will uh, pay attention more to this uh, program. Uh, can you go further, please? Uh, I, I will present the first bachelor, um, first cycle program. Uh, we have three, go further, please. We have three different um, first, cycle, first study cycle programs. The first one is university study program in public sector governance. Uh, it uh, lasts three years and you can get 180 ECTS. Uh, the professional title is Bachelor of Arts, uh, but it is important that this program uh, is only in Slovenian language. So if you are uh, interested in uh, uh, this program, uh, you will need to st uh, also uh, learn Slovene. So if you will try to Go, uh, in September, you, you can also enroll in the um, year plus 
where you can um, study also Slovene language. Uh, so I just want to add that uh, this one is in Slovene. Uh, please go further. Uh, we also have one study program, professional study program in administration, which also uh, lasts two years and you have you get uh, 180 ECTS and the title, professional title is also Bachelor of Arts. And this program is also in Slovene language. Both uh, these two um, programs, um, university and professional study program has uh, accredi accreditation, EAPA, so it is um, uh, uh, presented and uh, um, uh, this accreditation give us a mark that it is uh, the programs are uh, very well um, uh, structured. Uh, please go further. We also have one first cycle study program, which is interdisciplinary university study program in informatics in public administration. Um, it also lasts three years and you get 180 ECTS and you um, get the title Bachelor of Science. And this program is also in Slovene language, but it is important that this program, we have it with the Faculty of Informatics uh, from University of Ljubljana. So uh, some courses uh, you listen in, at the Faculty of Public Administration and some courses in the Faculty of um, Informatics. Uh, can you go further, please? Uh, these are um, uh, enrollment slots. So I will not uh, go further in, in deep in this uh, part, but just uh, to, to um, check that um, admini uh, uh, first cycle uh, study program administration, we also have part-time, which is just in um, online study, but it is also in Slovene. So if you want to study online, you can also choose uh, um, administration part-time study, we, uh, we said, we name it Isha the study, so uh, e-learning uh, for students if they want it. Uh, but this one is uh, payable. Uh, you have to pay for the to teach. Uh, thank you. Can you go further? Um, it is important to understand that um, uh, the dates for the application. If you are EU member, uh, you can enroll from the uh, 20th of February to the 20th of March. Uh, this is the, per the first enrollment uh, dates and the second one, it is in August uh, from the 21st to the, uh, to the end of the August. Um, it is important that if the second one is open, if um, they're not uh, full from the first time for the pay, uh, uh, first enrollment time. If you are a non-EU member, uh, the enrollment dates are from to, uh, 20th of February to 19th of April and also from September uh, 13th, 7th or 4th September, if you will not uh, be able to apply in uh, till April. Uh, all study programs start at October, from the 1st of October. Uh, for uh, EU citizens, there are no uh, tuition fee. For um, non-EU citizens, there are tuition fees from 3,000 to 5,000 per academic uh, per year. Um, if you are a graduate of, of bachelor's first science study program, you can also complete uh, equivalent education in uh, abroad from out of Slovenia. Uh, can you go further, please? Uh, here's application procedure uh, written. Uh, if you scan the, the code, you will also get more information about the procedure. Um, I would just ask Natasha if uh, she will add something from uh, the viewpoint of the um, uh, no, uh, no Tatiana, I think that you have already mentioned everything, uh, information for application and enrollment procedure are published at our website, also at the website of university, which is Liliana also have already presented, so we can go further. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go further. Uh, now we will present master second cycle de uh, degree programs. Um, we have two uh, master programs. Can you please go further? Um, here is also a video. If I if, yes, study please. at the University of Ljubljana Faculty of Public Administration, our master's degree is European EAPAA accredited and a member of the EMPA network. 
study enables you many international exchanges. In the Master's Study Program, Administration Public Sector Governance, you gain in-depth interdisciplinary knowledge from various areas within public administration and competencies for interesting jobs in public administration and private companies or institutions in the European Union. Lectures are conducted in the afternoon, therefore full-time studying is also possible for employees. Our study approaches are modern and provide excellent technical support. Studies are also conducted partially online. Studies enable involvement in various projects and the transfer of knowledge into practice. Above all, our students are not just numbers, as we provide them with a personal approach. Study for a master's degree in administration, public sector governance at the University of Ljubljana Faculty of Public Administration. Thank you. Uh, well, we have two study programs, uh, second cycle. Uh, the first one is, uh, as it was mentioned, study program management in administration, uh, which lasts two years and you get 120 ECTS. And the professional title is Master of Art. Uh, this is held uh, in Slovene language. Uh, and we have um, new um, things for the new uh, uh, side of this uh, program, it will be online study. So we will also have a uh, possibility to study online for this um, uh, program. Uh, can you go further, please? Uh, here is uh, 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 the presentation of the program structure in this code. So if you want to see everything about it, this uh, program was um, re 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 invite in, in this year. So we, you will start at the beginning. You will be the first um, generation of new uh, uh, study program. Can you go please further? Uh, the program study uh, is uh, full time and part time. If you wanted uh, for EU for non EU uh, candidates, full time is twenty two and the part time is eighteen. And also management in administration for uh, citizens who are not Slovenian uh, for full time two and part time two and and for the uh, EU members 120 and also part-time 400 uh, students. Can you go please further? Uh, and the second cycle program is master study program in administration, public sector governance. It also lasts two years um, and you get 120 ECTS and you get the title master of parts. Uh, this one is also appreciated by EAPA. And we also have this one in English. If you want it, you, you can also be a part of students from uh, Slovenia. So for Slovene students, we also have it just in Slovene. Uh, but we also uh, have this uh, program in online um, in English. So it is important that this is the only program which is uh, for the second cycle, which is in uh, English. Uh, so uh, for bachelor, but uh, they are not uh, in English. Uh, can you go further, please? Uh, when we discuss about the study uh, program administration in public uh, governments, you get in deep knowledge in multidisciplinary administrative science, it, and also you can choose um, uh, and work in EU institution because uh, this one we, you have um, two models, um, three models for the beginning, but but uh, at the end uh, two models. Uh, for administration in public governments uh, in general, and also administration in uh, EU institutions. So you can also employ in, in EU institutions. The, this model is especially um, uh, connected with the uh, employment in EU institution. Both um, second, se second cycle pro study programs are very individually approached. So the study, we are not so huge faculty, therefore, we also can um, have very individual approach from uh, teachers to students. And also we have also tutors for students so uh, that, uh, that you easily study a, a different program. Can you go further, please? This is a um, uh, code. Please uh, scan it uh, if you want any other information about administration public sector governance program. Um, now we will go further. And uh, please, um, this is, there are two videos, please. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alexander. I am a second semester student of the public sector governance master's program at the Faculty of Administration. 
and I'm here to share my experience with everybody about how the whole thing has been so far. Um, I started the program in autumn 2020, the so-called COVID semester, and I really wasn't sure what to expect um, because I knew that we would almost certainly be online, and the very reason why I chose the program was because it was very practice-oriented as opposed to some other programs that I've been accepted to and that I was considering also in the field of public administration. Um, but I was very pleasantly surprised with the course composition and the course content. I also appreciated that all the classes were scheduled after about 4 or 4.30 because as it turned out, all the students uh, had other things to do, had their own jobs, their own side projects, let's say. Um, and I think this was very um, useful for master's level students. Um, the quality of the courses too, of the lectures, of the textbooks they use, um, I was really able to learn a lot and I guess the most important thing is that everybody was very open to cooperate with you. If you had a problem or a question, if you're coming into public administration from a different field, such as me for example, um, the professors were really ready to, to give you additional information, additional knowledge, etc. Um, and also everybody had a lot of understanding for what the students have been going through due to the whole COVID pandemic. Um, so all in all, I was very, very impressed by what I got here. And I guess to sum the whole program up, I would say flexibility and quality would be the main two words that I would use at this point. So maybe we'll see each other next year. Hello, my name is Sara. I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I'm a student of a first year for Master's Studies, Public Administration. My educational background was quite a bit different than my current studies, but that did not create an obstacle for me to proceed with my education. So my future colleagues, if you are facing the very same doubts, fear, or an issue, don't. You will be just fine. The main reason why I chose this program was because I wanted to learn all about government, digitalization, public administration, procedures, everything that is related to the public sector. Regarding the COVID-19 situation, unfortunately, we did not have this experience in the classroom, but our online classes and education and knowledge was on the very same level with the quality as well. So my future colleagues, I would like also to share with you that our professors are very welcoming and always ready to help and assist. The very same is for the university staff as well. I would like to invite you to join us to our university, not to be afraid of something new or something unknown, because you will gain so much knowledge, so much experience, that it will help you with your professional development in the future especially if you decide to stay within the public sector. Thank you. And uh, the um, uh, second cyber study programs enrollment slots, we already mentioned it, and then uh, this is just for the administration, public sector governance. If you are, uh, if you will be uh, full time, you have 120 uh, uh, enrollment uh, slots and also part time for 40. And please, uh, can you go further? This uh, is all uh, in, in our um, uh, uh, web page, so I will not be. Uh, it is important for the academic year, 24-25. Uh, uh, everything uh, will be published in our website in April 2024. Uh, the application period is September, and also for non-EU members, that July to, uh, 31st. So it is important if you are not uh, EU members that you uh, don't forget to uh, apply uh, earlier. Uh, we will also have um, information day for these uh, two programs for the master, master and uh, uh, program. So the, the 5th of uh, June 24 at 4 p.m. So I, I suggest you to come and to um, connect with also our uh, teachers and you, you can also, you will be able to ask something if you want. And also, if you want to ask something, you can also uh, ask uh, when we will be in breakout rooms. So I suggest to go further. Uh, we also have, uh, if you uh, enroll in the uh, second cycle, you must complete the, the all the enrollment uh, must be via web portal. 
Um, you also have to scan the diploma, uh, supplements of the diploma, uh, uh, you know, also uh, completed education and copy of an ID. So please uh, go further. We also have PhD, a third cycle uh, study program. Is there somebody who wants to study at the third cycle? And it will be just to ask something. Just go further, please. This uh, study program, uh, can you? Yes. Study please. at the University of Ljubljana, Faculty of Public Administration. The joint doctoral study program of the third degree, Governance and Economics in the Public Sector, is distinctly interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary. We implemented together with the Faculty of Economics and Business, University of Rijeka, Croatia. It enables a thorough understanding of theoretical concepts in the field of administrative and business science, solving the most demanding research and practical problems, analytical work, synthesis of complex ideas, and the ability to transfer knowledge into practice. The program provides a wide range of specialization opportunities, a wide range of electives, various forms of international exchanges, and the performance of individual obligations at other universities abroad. Upgrade your knowledge. Choose the Joint Doctoral Study Program Governance and Economics in the Public Sector at the University of Ljubljana, Faculty of Public Administration. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is Joint Doctoral Program Governance and Economics in Public Sector. As you can see, we get this um, uh, study program together with the Faculty of Rijeka uh, in, uh, from Croatia. This is three years study uh, and you get 180 ECTS. Uh, that is some, some kind of different that uni, uh, uni, uh, other three or uh, third study programs in the University of Ljubljana had because the um, the legislation in Croatia, where the uh, uh, doctoral program should be just three years. So uh, you, this is uh, the most different uh, from other uh, doctoral study programs. Uh, you, you get the title Doctor of Philosophy. Can you go further, please? Uh, here is a code, uh, scan it, and you will also get another information about a uh, doctoral uh, governance program. Uh, can you go further, please? Uh, this is an impression from one of our students. So uh, um, what is important for the third cycles um, program is that it's very uh, research oriented. So you, you have online uh, lectures. We also have um, this program in English and in it's an online. Uh, you have online lectures and it is very research oriented. So you will have uh, many different tasks and also uh, for preparation of your uh, doctoral thesis. Can you go further, please? Uh, we also, uh, for all candidates, we just have 20 um, uh, slots for uh, all enrollment, for, but it is part-time study. Uh, can you go further? Um, it is also um, a tuition fee, e fee uh, 1,000 academic uh, um, year, and we, it starts in October 2024. If you want to uh, and also talk, talk with the different um, uh, uh, teachers and uh, ask us something. We also have information day for this uh, third cycle uh, program, which is um, online on the 5th of June um, at 5 p.m. So for the master's study program for, at 4 p.m., for the um, PhD study program, we have it at 5 p.m. So go please further. Uh, it, it's also for this one, it must be enrolled on via uh, AvaShop web portal. You need to um, apply and uh, show us certificates uh, and also exam grades, motivational letter, your CV copy of ID, and also certificate of recognition for foraging uh, education programs. Can you go further? Um, Will, well, it is important to also prepare the topic of doctoral uh, dissertation, the concept of doctoral dissertation, and also try to choose a um, mentor uh, in, in, uh, before you uh, uh, go to enroll in the course. And also, uh, we also have choice to use and to choose a methodology uh, course, which is science. Um, statistics or optimization models in public sector. So 
uh, it is important because you will it, the st uh, this study program you will have many uh, research and it is important to have also these two um, uh, co uh, courses. Can you go further, please? Uh, now it's time for your questions. Uh, uh, Natasha, will you uh, explain something and no. add something? No. 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 Maybe we can uh, move in break rooms. Maybe there will be some questions from yes. our guests. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you so much for this beautiful presentation. And now, as Natasha said, we can move to the uh, breakout rooms, or you can move to the breakout rooms. And of course, uh, for all of you students, if you have any specific question for this faculty, please join the breakout room faculty of public administration. If uh, there are no questions, um, I would like to thank you for your patience and attention. And uh, also, we wish you, of course, all the best in your studies and career and personal development. And we hope to see you in Ljubljana in October. Bye.